Ho ho! Hey guys, welcome to Mining Positivity episode 4 and boy do I have something to share with you guys today. I'm PJ and let's get started. Look at this. Look. So I've been busy working on the house and it's not done. Obviously we're missing a beam on the left hand side and things like that but what a difference between the last episode and this one. Um, yeah, let's just kind of look around. So the crops didn't work out the way I thought. I'm thinking of putting like some melon patches and stuff in the front. But um, this porch, I really like the way this looks. Um, we got nice big open rooms here for plenty of building opportunity and things like that. I'm excited to get decorating. There's a lot of stuff to uh, to put up and get going. But Look at this, we've got our smelting station, our cooking station, we've got a nice vine um, crop going on here, and we got storage for days and days and days. I'm so excited to finally get things organized. Things have been so just chaotic. Um, that's not the way I normally play, play Minecraft. When I play, I want everything where it needs to go. So it's nice to have the storage, but yeah, these blocks, we're going to have to take those out of here. But yeah, I mean, this house, it is coming along. I'm very excited. Um, even upstairs, we got all the flooring in, all the ceiling in. I, I have no idea exactly what I'm going to do with these rooms just yet, but I'm really loving this little balcony. Come out here, watch sunsets, see the ocean, see mushroom cows spawning in and flopping around over there. Um, I think this is going to be the enchanting room in here. I'm just not quite sure yet, but I'm pretty sure. But there's still a lot of work to be done. I mean, there's no glass in the windows yet. There's no furniture anywhere. But, man, between the last episode and this, it's like night and day. And it was so much work, but totally worth it. Guys, look at this sunset. This is exactly why I put this house here. Because, I mean, just look at that. I just love it. I'm going to be able to see that every night when I'm in this house. Um, so I did get the, the patches going. I don't know if they're going to grow like that, though. So I'll have to play around with that and actually see. But yeah, let's let's get it to daytime. So one of the things I'm definitely going to need here as I start decorating the house is a sheep. So I think it's time to, well, not need a sheep, but I need wool and I need the sheep for the wool. And the only sheep I've seen so far is that one that's on the edge of the island over there. So I think I'm thinking, yeah, let's get some wheat here and head across the lake and get that guy over here and get him secure so he doesn't despawn or worse, get destroyed by a creeper or something like that. So I'm going to hop in the boat and uh, we'll see if we can't get him over to the island. OK, we're pulling up and there he is. There he is just waiting for us to get back to the island. So come on, buddy. Okay, how am I going to get him in the boat, actually? I should be able to just push him in. That should work. Or, yeah, there we go. And he even loves me. So win-win. All right, let's get him back to base. Get him all tied up. All right, we got him back over here. We've got him secured. But he's definitely going to need a buddy. And also, too, there's no grass here. So once I shear him... The only way he's going to get his wool back is if there's grass for him to eat. So we'll see if we can't find him a buddy in this jungle somewhere. It's got to be more sheep. Well, and there we go. That took all of like three seconds. Come with me, buddy. I'm going to introduce you to a friend. And this is good, too, because black carpet and white carpet go really well together. So that's a good place to start before I start breeding them and getting some dye to make some other colors. Now the question is getting him back to base. So one thing I was thinking while we're over here, I mean, I got to get him in the boat, but I also want some sea pickles. So I think once we get him in the boat, I'm going to go try to grab some of those because I'm definitely going to want that for when I start decorating too. And it would be nice to kind of light up the water around where I got my kelp farm. Go Wait, where did he go? Oh, great. There he is. All right, come on. So let's get him back to base, though. So can I just drag him like this with a leash? I don't think I've ever done this. I've always tried to get animals in the boat. Can I pull him in the boat? 
No, but what if I just... Oh, see, these drowned are everywhere. As long as it's not a trident. And I also don't want him to kill the sheep. I don't know that he will. That wasn't too bad. Are those sea pickles around here? Yeah, let's just go grab those real quick. So one thing I've made the mistake of before playing Minecraft is accidentally hitting the dolphins. If you do this, every dolphin in the area will instantly start attacking you. And they're actually uh, pretty aggressive and they can do some serious damage to you if, if you can't get out of the water fast enough. So be very careful not to hit a dolphin. But yeah, can I just drag this guy with the boat? I'm going to try this. So it seems to be working so far. This is a lot easier. I wish I had th tried this before. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get you all tied up next to your buddy here and uh, turn this into daytime real quick. So let's do that. I am excited about these sea pickles though. So I don't know if my base is like in a weird location or is partly underground, but I get those underground cave noises even though I'm like not underground. It's very, very strange. But this this melon farm I got going here, I thought they would all just grow to the right if I just put one space there, but that does not seem to be working. So I'm not exactly sure what I need to do here. I may rip this out and try something different. I don't want it to be huge. I may just tear that whole thing out and, and do a different crop there altogether, actually. I'm still thinking about that. But we got the glass in. We got uh, a railing going up there. So I've been doing a little bit more stuff around the base here. But um, we definitely need some diamond. Like, that that's, that's going to hold us back. Like, we have the one diamond that we found in the last episode. That's going to get us a diamond pickaxe. But we need an enchanting table because I want to start getting silk touch on some things. And um, yeah, we just we need to go back down in the mines and see if we can get some more diamond. But that was pretty fantastic on that last episode and how that all worked out. It was it was just great. But yeah, looking at this again, until I get some grass over here, those guys aren't going to produce any more wool. And that's not going to help us. So yeah, we need some silk touch and we need to get some grass going. So I put this here as kind of a new way to get down into the mine shaft because I want to use that cave for something else and I'm not exactly sure what that something else is yet. I'm, I'm thinking maybe it's going to be where the nether portal goes. Um, once we make this diamond pickaxe, we'll be able to start mining some obsidian and then get our nether portal up and running. I'm curious to see what we get to when we jump into the nether. But um, yeah, let's get back down, mine the diamonds we found in the last episode and then maybe we'll do our encouraging thought of the day and then just keep going until we get some more diamond. Hopefully it won't take too long. All right, this is the diamond we found in the last episode. And uh, yeah, this is going to be on camera our very first diamond of the entire series. And there we are. What a beautiful sound. What a beautiful sound. So excited. Um, just really anxious to get some more though because we need that to get going i want diamond armor i want <laughs> it's so hard starting a new world and you want all the things you had before but you just gotta take the time to get there so yeah let's just keep going and, and see if we can find some more diamond so let's talk about our mining encouragement moment of the day so today we're going to talk about um today is going to be a fun day like so much of our mood, so much of our focus is determined really by us, like how we start our day and how we go at it and with what approach. So we have to be mindful of the fact that as we're approaching a day or getting up in the morning, are we going to decide like, oh, no, I don't want to 
you know, whatever it may be. I don't want to do chores today. I don't want to go to work today. I don't want to go to school today. I don't want to, or are we going to wake up and be like, you know what? Today is going to be fun. Like I got some things to do because we always have things we need to do. But despite all that, it's going to be a good day because I just choose that it's going to be a good day. And you know what? You can do that. You can choose what your day is going to be like. And up to a point, sure, you know, things can happen and tragedy can strike. And I'm not saying like you can just be happy even when like absolutely horrible things are happening in your life. But for the most part, horrible things are not happening regularly to people. It It's more the mindset that we're going in and then something small can happen and we just feel horrible because we're already starting off with kind of a a, a bad mood or an irritable mood or something like that. So that's that's today's thought. It's just I challenge you to just wake up in the morning and just decide, you know what? Today's going to be a good day and it's going to be fun and I'm going to find time for me and I'm going to find time for the things I need to do and and you get to determine you get to determine you know what that's like and and what that actually looks like and how much time you get to spend doing whatever it is but I just challenge you to change your focus start your day in a very positive way so that's our thought for today mining some positivity there and um we're just going to keep on mining. We're just going to keep going until we find some diamond. Oh, there we go. So that that was a while. I mean, it could have been worse. I've there's been times where I've dug for diamond for like an hour. Um, but yeah, so this is gonna give us enough diamond for sure to get our diamond pickaxe and start our enchanting table. It looks like oh wait, we got three so far. Okay, three. So maybe we got three out of this one. That's still good. I'll take that. Wait, no. Four. Wait, this is a... Wait. One, two, three. Five? Do we have five? Or is this six? Oh! Seven, seven diamond. Yes, I mean, that's, we're going to have some left over now. So we'll have to decide what it is we're actually going to make um, with this extra diamond. Probably some piece of armor or something like that. Uh, but yeah, yes, we are in a good place. But once you get an enchanting table and you get a diamond pickaxe, the game really starts opening up and a lot of... Um, new things can start happening. So 
Um, yeah, let's let's get this going. Get back to base. Get our diamond pickaxe all created and everything like that. And this is going to be a shorter episode than the other ones. But um, in the next one, we're going to start blinging out the house, decorating, um, making it into an actual living space. So yeah, let's get this diamond and head back. All right, the moment has come. Time to craft our very first diamond tool. And done. Let's check this out. Yes! So now we can go get some obsidian. We can get started on another portal and really get this adventure going.